YouTube Manifest Presents here, and I just wanted to do a quick video on this because I promised I would make one. Um, I, ha I was looking for the uh, actual footage of me making it. Can't find it, but if I do, I will definitely um, remake a video on how to do it uh, step by step. But honestly, this took me a day, maybe two, to let everything like uh, dry completely. Um, the only thing that took a while to make was probably this part, uh, but it was really simple. It's just it kept coming off after using it so much. But let me take you the easy steps of how to make it, and you'll be like, oh, man, that's easy. And I'll be like, yeah, I told you. And you'll be like, oh, my God. And then we'll be like, oh, okay. That was a weird conversation. So, um, obviously, I used uh, this kind of foam. Uh, I got that from Wal Walmart. You can use any kind of foam. Uh, this is like foam mats for like working out uh, type in e, uh, EVA foam you can find that anywhere you're already on the computer um, just search it on the interwebs you'll be good the train is passing by right now so I don't know if you can hear it I'm pretty sure you can uh, it's pretty loud um, but let me just take you through a quick shot of the paint job while the train passes um, this is not even indent that's just painted on i just painted a silver circle make it look like a, a bullet hole um but if you want you can definitely use uh, like some, some something with heat and just like press that in there to make it look like an actual bullet hole put some blood i just did like little flicks of the wrist the flick of that wrist uh <laughs> for the paint to make it look like it's splattered some blood on there uh did kind of like a um watchman kind of deal here and uh two more bullet holes for some reason i decided to put bullet holes all over here um on this side don't know why i don't know if i did that on purpose or or, or what but uh, these are basically three pieces of foam this is a big or four pieces of foam big piece of foam or four big pieces of foam Ugh. so let's try that again so basically it's four big or five actually let's try that again <laughs> so it's actually five big pieces of foam this big piece right here these two pieces that's three, four, and five. And then there's two smaller pieces of foam, which is, or, yeah, well, this was the same piece. I just cut it up in uh, different parts, and then this is a, its own separate piece. <clears throat> so basically, I made this shape, um, as you can see here. So that's one piece. And then the two pieces go on both sides the little smaller ones just basically to go over the shoulder i use the heat gun to mold it into place or to you know keep that shape and then this back part is just another whatever and as you can see this whole big piece actually keeps going to help it like help the pack uh not move around <clears throat> this to make it look like an actual like utility pack um what i did is i just use extra foam and all this is thinner thinner um, foam that I got from a craft store actually no I got it from Target so you can even get that at Target and as you can see it's actually pink just spray painted to white it might need another base uh, obviously and I think this was like blue because it comes in like an assorted colors uh, really really thin so I use that to make the Punisher skull and I use that to make a little flaps um, I didn't use any kind of like template. You can probably go online and you know blow up a picture of, of the Punisher symbol, and uh, and make your own. But what I did is I cut uh, cardboard from uh, comic book like the the backings, like when you put it in like in a little plastic case. They have little uh, cardboard backs. I basically did one side uh, of the the skull, and then so when I like had it from un or I folded it in half, and when I put it normal that was it it's right there boom there's a little mustache and then i did the other other half with another piece of cardboard sorry it's uh it's kind of cold so <laughs> talking is uh kind of uh bleh, you know you know what i mean so try not to die here from from being frozen to death uh and this oh let me turn on the light again since I'm in the garage, it has like a timer, so. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. And then this, actually, I just used an old um, belt that I, they, that I had, like, when I was younger. Like, I literally found this in, like, 
the back of my closet or I forgot where I found it. I spray painted it a little bit to make it look like more white to look go with this. I basically cut it in half and then I put it on myself and I kind of just drew lines to, to show where I needed uh, to glue it on. This was all by hand, you know, I just honestly just use use your brains, figure it out. Don't be an idiot. Simple stuff. Um, so I cut that piece. That's why this this doesn't have a buckle like this one does. And then, yeah, from there, I uh, I can actually put it on. Um, the reason this, this part took me so long is because I kept, you know, I used this during Halloween. So I went to parties and, like, you know, it would wear and tear. Like, I think one night, uh, the, one of these parts actually fell off. And then I, I, I was going to use it again the next day. So I reinforced, just put a bunch of glue. I don't know if you can see this, like a bunch of glue in there. Yeah, I just used, like just a buttload of glue um, just to keep it in place yeah look at that so so I could stay in, in place and and not move around as much I did this like two years ago or like a year ago I think two years ago if I'm not mistaken so this actually stands the you know stood the test of time because it's been it's been here in this garage for like two years just sitting here collecting dust and um, yeah so I mean this could always be like a cosplay yeah hey, uh, I'll look at that even the Got some indents from like laying around on stuff. Um, this could always be like just an easy cosplay or easy Halloween costume, an easy uh, convention thing that you can make. It took me like honestly, uh, not even like a full day, like two two days, but like both of those days weren't full. It was just I cut it out um, and then I spray painted it and then I waited till the next day and then I you know glued it all together pretty much. That was honestly all that I did. So, I'm pretty sure you guys can do this. I did this for for uh, Halloween, um, but you could definitely do this for a convention, Halloween, uh, costume party, uh, whatever. Um, definitely try to do that. Again, if I could find the other videos, uh, I'll do an in-depth one. But honestly, this doesn't take that long. You can figure it out. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like, favorite, comment, share. Um, and let me know if you guys try to make one. Uh, send me a picture. I'm on Instagram, just Manifest Presents, and uh, you know, put hashtag Manifest Presents so I can see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go because the train's about to pass by, or it's passing by now. So, bye bye.